I am on my way to take Judy to go play and jump. Right, bud? Yeah? Judy's back there looking cooler than ever. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with my son, I swear. I can't wait to show you guys the cute little Doc Martens that I bought for him. They just came in the mail. I got them from, I believe it was Journeys for like $70. I know it's crazy. I'm like, hopefully his little foot stays that, that little for a while. And if not, I'm just going to sell them on like my Poshmark or something because they're so expensive and they're hard to find, especially in his size. And I got them the flat black, just the regular leather boots that lace up in the front. But for kids, they have a zip on the sides that's hidden, so it's adorable. And I can't wait to style him in those. I've been thinking about doing more outfit posts with him um, on my blog. I didn't want to make his own exclusive like site or anything like that because it's just too much work for me. And I don't take as many outfit days for him that I do of myself because I'm always in my own body. He's like always out and about doing something like at school or with his dad or something so I don't always have him um, right next to me when I am working. So I'm just, yeah, I'll do it as often as I can. So we are on our way to do that. Afterwards, it's always like, we always are super sore and tired because it's essentially doing a bunch of squats and lunges and things like that. So it's fun for him and it's exercise for me. So that's why I have no problem doing it. I just got him um, and he decided he wanted to go play jump. So I'm taking him over to Sky Zone in West Covina or Covina, I think it's Covina. Um, it's like borderline Covina, Azusa. It's off of Arrow, no, Azusa and Arrow Highway. Right across the street from Walmart or in the same parking lot as AMC 30 in Covina. So yeah, hopefully I can sneak a little uh, images or clips of Judy jumping around because he goes berserk and it's the best because then he'll sleep like a rock tonight. Open that, why? Why? <laughs> Who lives down there? He lives down there. Who? Who does? Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles? Oh my goodness. Come on, baby. Let's go. Vamos. This way. This way. This way. the whole thing to yourself. <laughs> you got it? What? You wanna go home now? Before you go jump again, drink it. You done? Okay, so we are on our way back home from jumping. You tired, bud? Yeah, that was rough. Rough for Judy to be jumping around by himself. He was, he was getting his jump on, to say the least. And I got to sit on the sidelines. Um, the cool thing about, I guess they have a toddler package now, I guess, at Sky Zone for th 30 minutes, he got to jump for, I think it was three or four dollars, really cheap. For 30 minutes, it's a long time for kids to be jumping around. And um, there wasn't very many people there, and parents get to go in there for free. So I didn't have to pay. Usually it would be about $16 for me and Jude, and including my shoes. But I got to wear my regular street shoes, and since Jude is a toddler and short enough, um, he got to wear either his shoes or barefoot and he wanted to keep his toms on so he's like he hates jumping around on those mats or those trampolines with just his bare feet he cries every single time and then I'm like looking at the at the uh, person that's in charge of watching all the kids and I'm looking at them like you better not tell my kid anything for wearing his damn shoes because he hates it and he doesn't want to get his toes stepped on he already has a crazy toe lord have mercy Bella Nova. Like this song, Glenn? No, you don't want to 
like this song. time to eat my oh, smoke alarm kept going off because I made a disastrous mess again once again every time that I cook I always make a huge mess but this is the reward it always looks pretty good this is just a bed of organic um, spinach with tilapia that is grilled in the pan with just olive oil a little bit of lemon juice and lemon pepper and then grilled vegetables the same way and then that cilantro lime rice I just it I got the shape by putting it in like a flan cup looks like this a flan cup and then you just pack it into the rice and you flip it over and ta-da I can't go to a fancy restaurant so might as well put it in my house I'm done with um, dinner and being in the kitchen because I just now packed a couple of mason jars full of different stuff. So I've got in this container, I've got um, a couple sizes of cucumber um, and a mint, little mint branch. And this one I have just cucumber and lemon slices. This one's lemon and mint, and then another one of cucumber and mint. And they're just really cute and easy to take on the go with me and throw in my purse. And it's a hold on just a second, okay, Jude wants to turn to talk to the vlog. And then I'm just gonna throw these in the refrigerator and I'm good to go. I used all of this. You can find the mint, looks like this, it's packaged like this. Fresh and easy, Vons, Walmart. I got mine at Walmart for like three bucks. Cucumber's really cheap, so is the lemon. I mean, they're probably like a dollar each and you can make a bunch of different waters like this. You can use a huge container um, or like a craft bottle like this one here. This one I got from Ikea. And I think I told you guys about this one already. Um, or you can use a jug like this. Um, it's just like a purified water thingamajig. When you throw the water inside, it goes through this filter here and it filters the water out. I think it still tastes like tap water to me and that's why you know it's hard for me to use. Or you can use a big glass pitcher like that one there. Um, it's just really pretty for presentation and things like that so that's what I'm thinking about maybe doing one night that I have like girlfriends over or something like that and make a little cocktail spritzer out of this and then just add you know a few ounces of vodka so yeah um the, the fish one well you, you're eating fish yeah well did you like it, it was delicious huh good job see what I make Made, I know you're making mess and as long as Jude fits in his high chair, he will be sitting here at his high chair because this gets everywhere. It's all over my floor, but it just gives him a front row that's me, that's to his me. Ninja Turtles, huh? That's me. That's me. Yeah? Cool. I'm gonna clean up the rest of my mess here. I've gotta throw this stuff away and then throw that trash in the trash and then I just put this stuff away, but pretty much cleaned up already. Gotta wipe my counter down. Does anybody have a maid? I'm, I'm thinking about getting a maid. My boo thing got a maid, Carly got a maid. I'm like, I want one too. Especially for the restrooms. Now I'm gonna ramble some more. I'm like, I psyched, you guys thought I was gonna let you go. No, I'm still talking. Um, especially for the restrooms, because the restrooms get nasty pretty quick, because I got this guy over here with his uncontrollable baby wiener spraying all over the damn place, especially in the morning. I'm like, no, I'm not in my toilet. He's like, I want to use your toilet. I'm like, no, pee all over the damn place. It sounds, <laughs> I feel like Quentin Tarantino when he was describing like, pee all over the place. Um, <laughs> it does broaden. You guys know what I'm talking about? Anyways, I'm gonna let you go because Jude is ready. I know, I see that. I've got tons of rice to clean up now and Judy to wash up and then this this video to edit. So anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow. I need to stop. I'm telling you, we can we can be here all day. I'm that girlfriend that keeps you on the phone longer than you were expecting. Ask Crystal. We'll be on the phone for like hours and be like, hold on, hold on. I have something else I want to talk to you about. I'm annoying. I know, but I love you guys.